John, having experienced an incredible final last season, how amazing would it be to bring Connacht here for the final next May? Yeah, it'd be certainly a big one. Um, I'm sure all the Irish teams would be looking forward to it. Um, looking forward to a big day out in Aviva. Obviously, last year um, over in Edinburgh, it was a monumentous occasion for everyone in Connacht. But to have a home final would be even sweeter, and um, to play in in such a great stadium like the Aviva would be brilliant as well. So, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of teams looking to to be here uh, come next May, and um, we'll be right up there with them hoping that we can um, be back here again. So how do you as, as the Connacht captain go about trying to achieve that goal? Yeah I think we've got to obviously improve on what we did last year. Um, we've got to get better than what we did. I think a lot of teams will be disappointed that they weren't champions. A lot of teams will be disappointed that they weren't in a final. So we've got to get better. I think um, what we did last season certainly won't be good enough to win this season. Um, we're going to have to improve. We're going to have to I suppose add a few more things to our game and um, ultimately, we're, we're going to have to um, have a bigger squad and hope that a few players break through. And I think that the key thing for us is that we have a lot of young lads in our squad, but we need those lads to come along and um, get better and, and improve quicker. Um, I think when you look at some of the recruitment, um, both coaches and players and, and the other teams, um, it's certainly going to be a, a bigger and better league again, as it has been over the last few years. Each year uh, we think we're getting a lot better, but everyone else around us gets better as well, and I think that's a testament to the competition that we're in. You mentioned the sports ground there. You've attracted a, a whole raft of new fans, which is fantastic for, for rugby and Connacht. It's going to, the first game back there is going to be some occasion. Yeah, the, the game's been growing massively um, in the West, and I suppose success helps that um, grow even bigger. Um, there's a breed of Connacht fan that doesn't know about losing anymore, so um, that's that's probably going to add a small little bit of pressure to it. But um, we we probably couldn't have got a harder start than what we have. Um, Glasgow have been a phenomenal team over the last two years, and um, we've had a couple of tight battles. We played each other three times last year, um, and there wasn't a, there was only one score in all three games. So it's um, it's certainly going to be a, a big battle uh, live on TV as well, which. Um, Allowed to the occasion, but yeah, the sports ground has been rocking for the last few months, and um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people coming with expectations that uh, we'll win again. So, yeah, look, it's um, it's a great occasion, and uh, the sports ground has been a, a good place for us recently, and hopefully we'll be able to um, to win again. Pat, you're the defending champions. Does that mean you're there to be knocked by everybody? Oh, without a doubt, it's uh, uh, we know the targets on our back, but. I suppose the, the main thing for us, we always bring it back to what we can control and you know the secret of our success was the work we did every day at the sports ground and, um, and uh, the quality of that enabled us to pull out the performances on the weekend so it's just a case of going back to that and lifting it to another level. The, the work ethic amongst the team was incredible, exemplified obviously by your captain John Muldoon and the example that he set. How difficult is it to keep the, the feet on the ground now and, and, and come back down to basics and, and, and all of that from such a high? Yeah, I suppose part of the whole rugby education or what we're doing at Connacht is, is uh, bringing it back to process so that we don't get caught up in emotion, we don't get caught up with big occasions and you know that education has probably put us in good stead for this season to know that it works, uh, to know that you know, while well, there is expectation that uh, if we go back and, and work on, and we do a lot of work on our skills, obviously, and um, and making sure everyone's got absolute clarity on the plan. And while we have looked, nearly 90% of our players have come back, which is fantastic. We're only as good as how quickly the other 10% can get up to speed, because uh, uh, we're only as strong as our weakest link. So ultimately, um, that's the work we're doing day in, day out, and uh, and everyone improving. <laughs>